Hello everybody, I'm Nate and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do another uh, series in the How to Sling Beglery. I've uh, been doing this for a while, it's been pretty popular. Uh, probably the most viewed videos on my channel actually. Um, so it shows me that uh, I need to be doing more beglery stuff So uh, because that's what the people want. Uh, we're going to do three different uh, concepts, tricks, uh, elements, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they don't really relate to one another, all right? Uh, but they have, I think, a sense of difficulty as you go through. The first one's going to be caged rebounds. The next one's going to be bead rolls. And the last one is a closer or a finisher of a trick, uh, oftentimes, uh, and it's known as cheddar. All right, so we're going to do all three of those. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and start with caged rebounds. Uh, basically the concept is, is you're going to get your beads into a mid grip here. All right, that's what we're gonna start with. Now, uh, I did switch up my beads. For all of these tutorials, I've been actually using uh, the Around Square Mini Delrin Hydras, but these here are the Hydras, uh, but just in titanium. So it's the same bead shape, uh, just a slightly different weight. I like these a lot. These were one of the first sets that I actually got that were more of a high-end set, and uh, and they've they have quite a bit of um, sidewalk uh, polish on them uh, from many many drops. So if you're not dropping them, you're not doing it right. Like I said, we're gonna do caged rebound. So let's go ahead and flip the uh, camera angle around, and I'll show you from a different angle. Okay, here we go. So like I said, we're gonna start with a mid grip here. All right, so just a normal mid grip. And basically what we're going to do is, the goal is to get your pinky uh, and your thumb here. So you're gonna kinda let the, the, the string come through here, through your pinky here in this grip here, and you're gonna give it some swing and gonna give some stretch to your hand here as well so that you're gonna kinda pull your thumb and your, uh, your pinky kind of apart so you have this space. And so that's, that's the idea. It's easier to kinda get some momentum, all right? So, that's the idea. So just kind of a fun, like, you know, instead of doing a, a traditional rebound, it breaks up that, that momentum. So the, yeah, that's a, that's the basic concept here. There are variations of that. And so like, I like to kind of just like use this as like a kind of a, a general concept. Anytime that like you're taking, you're doing sort of a like rebound, but you're not just going you know, around, uh, but you're actually going kind of a, between a segment, you know? Um, so uh, let's see, you can even do that from low grip, right? You know, that kind of thing. And, um, you know, and just kind of like mess around uh, where it's kind of going between um, a segment. But that's technically right here, that's the cage rebound, the traditional way to do it. Uh, but again, it's kind of more of a concept um, and like I said, you, if you're not dropping it, you're not doing it right. So like I said, it's more of a concept, right? And so, you know, you can kind of just like mess with, um, you know, kind of throwing it between different segments. You can change it, change up the grips and, um, and so on. Okay. All right. All right. So that's, that's the first one. All right. So that's cage rebounds. Um, again, it's kind of fun. Again, a nice way to kind of break up. Um, instead of just doing a traditional rebound, kind of breaking it up and giving a little bit more tech to it. All right, there we go. Okay, so the next one here that we're actually gonna do is a bead roll. And now I will say this, um, I can do the downward bead roll pretty solid. Uh, upward, it's a little awkward. I'm gonna show you how it's done, uh, but I am not an expert at this. Um, Muscle Bone does it really well in his video, and so I don't use the upward one as much just because my muscle memory maybe isn't quite there yet. I'll go ahead and show you the concept of going upwards, but mostly going to be showing you the one to go down, okay? Um, so you can learn the upwards one and, and maybe learn it better than myself, okay? All right, anyways, let's go ahead and change the angle again, and I'll show you bead rolls. So here we are, and we're gonna start in high grip. And basically what we're gonna do is we're going to roll the bead down as it comes down and it's gonna end up in low grip in the end, okay? So I'll go ahead and show it to you um, and, uh, and then we'll go ahead and break down what, uh, what's actually happening. So there's the concept again. So we're going from high grip to low grip 
all in uh, one basic move, but it's broken down into little micro moves, okay? Let's think of it that way. Um, now, what we're doing here is to kind of get technical in some of our terms, uh, terms that I did not coin, uh, is we're getting into a half cab roll, and um, and that's that's basically what we're doing. So what the first thing, so again, we're in high grip here. We're, we're pushing down with our index finger, and we're gonna allow that bead to kind of come in between here and sandwich now in between here. So it's maybe helpful to have a, a little bit larger bead uh, and, and maybe even a square bead like this, or, you know, a barrel type shape bead. I find that may be helpful at first when you're learning, but you can really do this with anything, but it might be a little bit more helpful when you're first learning this, okay? So we're gonna roll down and when we do that, we're gonna kind of sandwich it here. All right, so it's kind of a, it's, it's a it's a challenging thing. So you're gonna have to give it a little bit of momentum. So this is a trick that you're gonna need kind of momentum, right? And uh, and so on. All right, so now that we're sandwiched in here, okay? Get comfortable with that grip. So it's nice and tight there. Uh, but the paracord is in front here and we're basically gonna just let go of that and it's gonna release then the paracord down into your low grip, okay? So it's gone from here, then you're pushing down with your index finger into the mid grip here, we're sandwiched in here, and then that's going this way. <laughs> All right, so we're in here, and it's swinging this way, okay, in front, and then we're just letting go, and we're pinching it then, and letting it rest now in our low grip, okay? So, all right, once again, in one motion, it's like that. It's a really fun finisher too. I like to kind of finish in this grip, you know, just kind of a nice relaxed grip and uh, and kind of finish there and kind of display the beads, you know, that kind of thing. And it has a nice kind of feel to it. Like I said, I'm also gonna show you upward bead rolls. This is something I'm not comfortable with too much uh, because it's just kind of a weird dexterity thing and I struggle with it, <laughs> I'll be honest. Here we are, so we're in our low grip here. We're gonna take our middle finger, we're gonna come down and reach under and we're just gonna then sandwich here and with the momentum coming up, it's gonna then go back into high grip, okay? So all in one motion, it's like that, all right? All right, so it's boom, like that, all right? It's a, it's a hard thing to kind of do for me because I, I just, I, I get snagged up right here, uh, but that's the idea. So if you're watching this and you have some advice, actually, if you're a more advanced player than myself, um, I don't know why you're watching this because you're probably already better than me anyways and you know this, but maybe you can help me out, okay? Okay, so the last one here is uh, cheddar. So uh, it's, like I said in the intro, it's kind of a closer or a finisher of a trick, most of the time at least. You can always go back into something else, but it's really fancy and it took me a minute to kind of like get the concept of it. Um, it's a little bit of timing, it's a little bit of finesse as well, and so uh, I'll kind of give you some hints and some variations also of what you can do with this. But it's a fun closer. I probably do it far too often as far as the closer just because it's a heck of a lot of fun. But uh, um, if you've seen this trick, you probably wondered how to do that, and I'm gonna show you. All right, here we go. All right, here we are with cheddar. All right, so we're gonna actually start off with this grip here. Um, and I angled it down a little bit more. Um, we're just gonna pinch it up here. The idea is to get comfortable with this sort of toss, all right? And and we're, we're just kind of throwing it horizontal. We're making sure that the actual strand of the paracord is going completely horizontal, like so. Because what's gonna happen is we're gonna take our, our uh, slinging hand, uh, I wanted to say throw hand, but our slinging hand or whatever our dominant hand is, and we're going to slap it. Now, I guess you could do it with your other hand, uh, but we're going to take our fingers together and it's just gonna hit the back of our fingers here and it's gonna hit the center of that string and it's gonna wrap around and it's gonna look like this, okay? All right, so that's the idea. And so uh, you wanna keep your hands together. Uh, if you have your hands wide like this, uh, you know, like, like grizzly mitts or whatever, uh, it's not gonna wrap around and obviously. And you also need to make sure you have a long game paracord here because if it's short, uh, obviously it's not gonna have enough momentum to come around and it's just gonna, you're gonna, I'm smacking that right into the ground and uh, you don't want that, okay? So as we come up, all right, we're gonna just slap it just in the center, right in the center. It's gonna take some timing and some, uh, some practice there, of course, but once you get it, you'll get it, okay? Promise, honest promise, okay? So again, as it comes up, it comes up completely horizontal 
and as it as it is right there we're gonna then take our hand and we're gonna smack it right there and it's gonna come around and the energy or whatever something physics something something science is going to then boom right there in the middle and they're gonna meet in the middle and they'll probably clack maybe a little bit and that's kind of a fun great way to close now here's one variation of it uh, from a uh, low grip you can then go ahead and I uh, pop it up here all right and you could just toss this up and then just you know um, and then just slap it in the middle just like we did. But what I like to do is kind of spread my fingers apart. So it's resting here on my pinky and my index finger. And we're gonna do kind of a half turn, like a 180. Uh, and I'm going counterclockwise, but I guess you could go clockwise, but it just feels more awkward. And as it's coming around, it's gonna go 180 and it's still gonna stay parallel, right? Let me focus here. Come on now, focus. Okay, it's gonna stay parallel. And I'm gonna then take my hand, boom and I'm gonna do the same thing. Here is the entry to it, like that, right? And I wanna keep my fingers nice and wide because uh, if I keep them together, you know, it's just not gonna have a nice and flat sort of uh, a piece there to work with. So I'm kind of giving a 180 turn. All right, let me try that again. And, and I'm slapping it just like I did before. Sorry if that went out of frame here. slap it just like so, okay? So we're doing that 180, and as it comes around perfectly, again, timing is everything, and as we do that, we're gonna head, hit it and slap it with the back of our hand, and we're into that cheddar-like catch, okay? All right, there you go. There's three things, right? Very different. Um, they're not necessarily connected, uh, but I think they're kind of fun, and something, again, elements, little mini tricks that you can kind of throw into combos, throw into a freestyle, and just kind of make your own and see how they kind of go with the other things that we've learned in this series. So if you have not checked out other videos, like if you're brand new, I do have a first time beglary or start here kind of video, okay? Make sure you check that out. I'll have a link in the description to that. So if you're brand new to beglary and you're not sure what the heck is going on here, but you think it's cool and you wanna join the fun, check that out. All right, so we talked about cage rebounds. All right, lots of fun. We also talked about bead rolls, which that's what that is. <laughs> and then we also talked about cheddar, which is a really fun uh, closer finisher to a trick. All right. All right. That's going to do it for now until the next one. Later.